Okay. Forgive my voice and everything because I've got allergies that are awful. But I'm gonna really quickly show you how to resize your logo in Photoshop. Um, elements may be different. I get in elements and I just feel like I'm lost. I don't know why, but I don't have the patience for it. Anyway, so here's one of my pictures that I did of my daughter a while back. And here I have the logo. I already pulled up. This. I have a ton of just random ones that I've made in my name. So we're going to take this logo right here and we're going to put it on that picture. So the first thing I'm going to do, and you may know how to do this, I'm just going to drag it. And then I get it here and it's huge, right? So what I want to do is hit Command T. For me, this is the preferred way. Um, I'll show you another way here in a minute. Just shrink. And you have to make sure when you're shrinking that you don't distort your look. Because you could, you know, that or whatever. So shrink it until you get it the size you want it. Make sure you keep it shaped. And then, I don't want to pick this. Yeah, this one needs a white logo. Uh, I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to get a little bit smaller. That's too tall. There we go. There we go. It's here nicely. So then I'm going to check it. And. That was Command T that I did that with, or Control T if you're using um, a PC. But that's how you shrink that that way. You have to shrink it. The other way, um, first thing I need to do is I actually just did this one really, really quick. I've been fighting with my website all day and trying to edit pictures and try to work on some custom work all at the same time. So now I have this where it's pretty much the size of the logo. All the ones that I create should be about that way too. Sometimes I leave a little bit of extra room, but not usually. So you're going to go to your image size. Um, it could be somewhere else, but in general, if you know where the image sizing is, then you should be good. So I'm going to click here. Always make sure this is 300, please. Don't take a 72 or um, a 96 or whatever and change it to 300 because you're not going to keep your resolution. Keep this at 300. Now what I want to do, some people like to work in pixels, some people like to work in width. I think it's easier to explain to somebody how many inches. So that picture that I just had up was 10 inches wide. So my logo, I'm going to go for 4. Make sure you have resample, constrain, and scale or whatever it's called on yours, so that way it doesn't distort everything. And then hit OK, so we shrunk it. I'm going to hit Command Plus just to make it full size. So here's full size. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag this back over here. And it's much smaller, as you can see. Um, probably could have went a little bit smaller, but it that resized it. Now, do not save or overwrite your current logo files with the, the smaller version. I make them as big as I make because if you try to do something that's big and you have a small logo, it's not going to work. Like, I'm just going to create a new document here. Um, white. Okay, so there's that. Now, step backward and take it back to its original size. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make this two, no, no, three. All right, so here we go. I'm going to drag it over here. See how small this is on here? I'm going to use my command T to try to make it bigger. zoom in a little bit because we're not at 100%. So 
this is zoomed in all the way to 100%. You see the pixelations in it here? Now let me go over here. I'm going to step backward so it's full size again. I'm going to drag the whole thing over there. I'm going to put it here. See the difference? How this one's crisp and this one's not? So that's why you want to keep your stuff as large of, you know, a size and pixelation or, oh god, the Benadryl, <laughs> as large of, uh, god, I'm just like, I lost the word, resolution. You want to keep it as big of a resolution as possible and then decrease your size from there. So if I were to give out logos that were like four inches wide, um, and you needed to make a 8x10 flyer, you're going to lose some of the quality of your logo in that. Now, let's say that you saved your logo, you saved it off of the internet, okay? And if you do that, then you're going to have 72 DPI because that's what everything automatically defaults to online. So if you were to like you also want to do that when you're editing and posting, but that's another thing. So if you pull an image and you save it off of the internet, it's compressed to 72. You hit OK. Now we have this. I'm going to drag it back to my picture. I'm going to put it right here underneath this one. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm at like 400%, so this one's starting to look a little bit pixelated too. Let me bring a full size over of that one. I'll just make it for 5 inches. Alright, I'm just going to drag this one as full size over. La, la, la. <laughs> Drag. Ah, oh. yeah. Um, I bought an Urban Decay two eyeshadow palette on eBay, and this is how I got it. Not happy camper. I had to send some pictures of it. Sorry about that. Um. So at 400, we're a little bit distorted with that one. We're down to 100. And then, if you look really, really close here, you can see... Uh, let me go to the drag file for the other one. You should be able to see the difference. It's just zooming in once. But you see the loss of pixelation here versus here, and this one's already been downsized some, so there is some pixelation just because I'm at 200%. Even this one over here that I manually resized, you can see lost some pixelation. And then you can see that one here too, obviously. So, yeah, that's, um, I guess, hopefully more informative. If you decide to save a smaller version of your logo, hit save as and give it a new name. Make sure that you always save it as a PNG and like give it um, logo. Mm, give it a uh, uh, we'll say small and then you're going to want to go down to PNG. You know, pick where you want to save it and then just save it. I'll click that and I'll save it there. I already have a hot mess of files in there anyway that I need to clean up. And then I have that file. Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to have to open that with Photoshop. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to try to increase it. I want it to be 10. 
C going up to 10. Probably lost pixelation here. So, I know that this is probably all over the place and confusing. If you have more questions, please feel free to ask me. I'm making this for multiple people, so it's kind of hard to um, make sure that I get all the questions without being specific to any one person. One thing that I do include, the only thing is, is that they're, um, oh, what are you, oh my gosh, this is not my day. Sundays are the only time I can hide in my bedroom and get this done though, because my husband's out there playing Minecraft or something, and the kids think I'm asleep at almost 4 o'clock in the evening, when really I've been up since 9, fighting with my website and stuff. A lot of times, if you are familiar with it, when I do logos, I create a brush for your logo. And you have to, if you install it, um, okay, I don't have one on here, so let me make one real quick. It's not awkward. It's Back here, and then there's my other brush. I need to make it smaller though because I kept it full size. Yeah, can't do it on a lock layer. <laughs> I don't want it quite that big. So here, and then you just click it. Mine's come with that color because they're from and do it. You change your color here. So if I want it to be teal, which is my one of my favorite colors, just gonna click here and then ta-da. This right here is a little bit lighter because of the difference in color. Um I should have made the whole thing black and then it would have showed up darker, but anyway, you get the, the gist of that. So if you're using a brush and you can go up here whenever you're using it and you can decrease your I'm not gonna go that small. Decrease your size, increase your size up to the maximum that your brush settings were. Usually they're about two thousand ish. Which two thousand is gonna put um, See, that's like 2,000 which is going to put a nice big logo on your picture. So anyway, um, I hope this helps, and if you have more questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks.